morning. So I got, I finally am doing my pine cone syrup that I started back in October that I had to go through a fermenting process. But the point is I could have done it sooner than now, but honestly I kind of got discouraged because there were like two people specifically I was intending to give it to for Christmas gifts and they were over at two different times to my best friend and then another friend a couple they came over and I was I thought they, they would like it and they're I didn't tell them I was giving it to them for gifts I just wanted to show it to them and they're like oh my god you know like scoffing and giggling and telling me good luck with that and that kind of stuff so I didn't I didn't have anybody to give it to so I just like forget it I'm just gonna let it sit here until I feel like messing with it so I felt like messing with it so let me tell you what I've done it was semi liquidy syrupy right some of it had turned to syrup some of it was still sugary and Everything that I read was like you didn't have to add water, right? But I couldn't find any way to make a syrup without adding the water because sugar is just going to stay sugary and not liquidy unless you've added some water. So I added um, like two and a half cups of water to get it to the right consistency of a syrup and then of course I boiled it but I didn't do that at first at first I just melted the sugar and I'm like this ain't working you know like melted sugar turns back to a like a solid form you know <laughs> so this is what the syrup looks like now it's a little thinner like I'm I boiled it a little bit more because I have made it a little too thin but it's perfect and I still have to strain it. You can see the little bits and pieces of pine cone still in it. So I'm going to have to strain it twice before I, you know, put it in anything. But, yeah. So I'm boiling it. I've boiled it just a little bit longer just to get it a little thicker than what you just saw. You know, more like a pancake syrup or a maple syrup. Maple syrups are a little thinner. So, anyway, this is a fermented, healthy um, pine cone syrup. And these were green pine cones originally. Like, you know, really tight green pine cones. They hadn't opened up. They hadn't, you know, they were green. And that's what you use to make pine cone syrup. And it's a healthier syrup. Plus, I used an organic um, molasses sugar to make it so yeah it's a fermented organic molasses sugar syrup made with pine cones and it is very aromatic like you can smell it tastes good <laughs> it's really good you can smell the pine cones in it and you can taste it it's like wonderful I don't know why my friends were like scoffing at it they're missing out so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with all this syrup but I got it. Peace.